Hello, welcome back to Mina's Bookshelf. Today I'm doing a, an Oracle deck review. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, if you have been watching my um, monthly readings, general energy check-ins on my channel, you might have uh, noticed in uh, the last two or three um, check-ins, this uh, deck, a crystal deck. It's the Crystal Blessing Cards by Valencia Chen published by uh, US Games. It's a re recent release. And the uh, publisher was uh, so gracious to send me a, uh, a copy for purposes of review. And I've been working with it for about a month and I'm ready to share my thoughts with you. From the back, discover the many healing benefits of crystals. Work with the gems and crystals in this 70 card deck for guidance on your spiritual journey. Each crystal blessing card features a color photo of the crystal, a description, a description of its meaning and benefits, and a powerful affirmation. Choose a single card to receive a crystal blessing for the day, or use the cards as an oracle deck for insightful assistance with a situation. And I've been using this deck, as you can see in my videos, in all these fashions, in all these manners. And I found it very uh, satisfying as an experience. So this is the box. It's a two-part hard box with the thumbs cut out. My, uh, my box came with a, a little uh, bit of a bump here in uh, the corner. No problem with that. I think that there's another, um, crystal theme deck uh, by Valencia, uh, Valencia Chen, published prior to that by uh, US Game. You may want to go and check. Crystal blessing cards give inside guidance and affirmations for 70 different crystals. Crystal blessing cards, so these are all the sides. It's a very a versatile deck, I think, and also very, um, very nice, very uh, approachable one. This is the inside of the box. I love box. I love this color. Uh, there is a uh, a presentation card that comes with a deck, with indications on how instructions on how to use the deck, information about the uh, creator. So during this time of great awakening, there has been a resurgence of interest in crystals. I've been using tarot for the past 30 years, probably. Um, the use of crystal is something that I've um, started only working with this energy, only in recent years, I would say probably around five to six years. Um, and I'm totally invested because I do love them. I have an extensive uh, uh, collection. Maybe someday we'll do, uh, we'll do a video about that. As we enter the age of Aquarius, we are releasing the old paradigm to give birth to the new. Crystals can help us navigate our way by providing guidance and healing. Choose a card from the Crystal Blessing deck to receive wise counsel, restoration, and blessing from the Crystal Divas. Valencia Chen is the owner of Angel Light Books and Gifts in Berkeley, California, where she teaches classes on crystals and gives crystal divination readings. She is the author of Crystal Message Cards. Uh, it's a 2021 co uh, COVR award gold winner. Crystal Blessing cards contain 70 noteworthy crystals not found in her previous deck. And I would say I found in this deck a lot of uh, crystals that I might have heard of, uh, but not that frequently. So I appreciate the fact that this, uh, this deck covers less known, uh, less known decks. Also because in my collection of uh, tarot and oracle decks, I do have a, an abundance of decks. Um, for example, the Crystal Spirit Oracle by Colac Baron Reed. It's only, always been in my collection. Precious Gems Oracle by Maxine Gad. And then one other um, recent acquisition is the Crystal Clear Oracle by Nadine Gordon Taylor. And I love them all. I use them all. And I think that each of them uh, covers a specific function, a specific uh, role and purpose in my, in my um, practice in my collection because I'm also a collector and I also tend to use all the decks that I collect. Uh, and each one of these decks has a specific um, 
also specific characteristics that made them good for a certain use rather than another. Uh, when I started to use this deck, I immediately realized that this is also another deck that I would love to keep using and it's certainly going to stay alongside the others because it's different. Um, has something that the other decks don't have or maybe uh, even something less than the other decks and for this reason I find this deck to be even more practical, more versatile and easier to reach for. So let's take a look at the cards. Uh, the back's beautiful with this uh, flower of life, uh, sacred geometry. We're all connected. I love the color. I don't know if the camera is picking the color uh, correctly. It's like a sage color. Really nice. Uh, the cards, uh, let's see if I can reach for a tarot card to show you the dimensions, is so easy to manage because of the size. This is a uh, Hay House or um, tarot deck, tarot card, and it's the same size. So it's the size of a uh, tarot deck, card from a tarot deck, so it's very easy to, uh, to handle. It's not one of those massive, humongous, big ones. Uh, the cardstock is the typical uh, US Games cardstock we are used to, and I like it, flexible. Uh, matte with a little bit of uh, sheen, uh, not too thick and not too thin, too thin, so perfect, perfect for shuffling. Uh, the deck is not in uh, in order anymore. I've been using it very frequently. It's actually one of those decks that I keep on my nightstand because I like to reach for a uh, card in the morning or at the end of the day or when I need a quick answer to something. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at these cards. Uh, they're not in alphabetical order anymore. There's not a guidebook uh, accompanying the cards. You have everything you need on the card itself. So you have a colorful banner that normally reflects the color, uh, refers to the color of the, of the gem, of the crystal, uh, the name of the crystal itself, keywords, a uh, very clear realistic photographic representation of the, uh, of, the, of the crystal so you actually see how the crystal looks like. In other decks I have, we have painting, we have uh, um, some more whims whimsical representation of the, um, of the crystal, a little bit of photographic manipulation. So beautiful deck, decks, don't get me wrong, but if you are actually if you actually want to see what the crystal looks like for real, this is the deck for you. The card feature also a brief, very conveniently brief uh, description of the qualities of the, um, of the crystal, a little bit of, uh, let's say, technical specification, scientific uh, specification properties. There is the second part of this paragraph usually has the divinatory meaning, and then there is an affirmation. So this deck covers different bases. You have um, the, the quality of, let's say, of a flash card, you can, where you can actually learn some essential basic information about the crystal, which is always good to have. You have a nice little paragraph that you can use for divinatory readings in case you want to use this for that kind of purpose in combination with the tarot or not. And then there's a beautiful affirmation which I think is also very revealing when you do divinatory readings. So I normally look at the affirmation first. So we have epidote, for example, karma clearing. Do you find yourself attracting the same negative emotional experiences again and again? Sometimes we recreate painful situations because the memories sit in our energy field as old wounds that need to be healed and released. Epidote helps you break and dissolve karmic patterns that no longer serve you. By purging and cleansing stuck, repressed emotions, it allows you to fill it with things of a higher frequency. The affirmation is I clear all karma by releasing memories and patterns that no longer serve me. I create new thoughts and feelings of what I want in my life. So if you take a look at my energy check-in, 
uh, readings, you will see how um, one card at the end of the reading as a wrap up thought, excuse me, was, uh, was that perfect um, ending, was that perfect um, way to uh, conclude a reading. We have Garnet, deep love. Garnet comes from the Latin word granatum for pomegranate, and its dark red color symbolizes devotion and deep love. It is the birthstone for generally born Capricorns, a Saturn ruled Earth sign, known to be responsible and dedicated when it comes to matters of the heart. Garnet encourage you, encourages you to take your partner seriously and develop a stronger bond. It reminds you that what you put into a relationship is equivalent to what you get out of it. Very interesting. This, for example, a card that might come up in a love reading if you do a love spread or love related, love matters related spread with the tarot. Um, you could actually use this also in a spread made exclusively, exclu exclusively, sorry about that, of uh, these oracle cards. I value, this is the affirmation, I value my relationship and enjoy developing a deep and loving bond with my partner. We're not going to read all of them. We're going to take a look at some. Um, maybe read only the, uh, the main keywords and the name of the crystal. This is Lazulite, Indigo Children. I use my warrior light to destroy outdated structures and give way to the new. We're talking about Indigo Children, born between the 80s and the 90s, known for their warrior spirit. Like lazulite, they emit an indigo ray. Lazulite vibrates to the sixth chakra, the third eye, for inner knowing and clear seeing, etc., etc. Then we have red calcite, self-love. I love and accept all aspects of myself unconditionally. Kunzite, be gentle with yourself. I love this crystal. I don't have one, but I'm looking for it. I can be gentle with myself. I know my angels love me unconditionally, and I can love and accept myself as well. Kunzite contains lithium, which is often used to treat bipolar disorder and depression. Combined with the soft, loving color of pink, Kunzite acts as a gentle emotional healer and reminds us we are loved unconditionally from the higher realm. Black kyanite, past lives. I release things from my past life that do not serve me, and I embrace the gifts that benefit me. So there is a nice variety of um, topics, themes, uh, in, uh, and keywords that I really appreciated. Moldavite, Ascension. Red Tiger Eye, Stand Up For Yourself. Aura Clearing for Infinite. These crystals are totally new to me. So I love the fact that I do have decks that uh, features well-renowned, most common uh, crystals, and I love to see uh, a variety of new things in this one. Peach Moonstone, clear, sen clear sentience. I can sense the energy of others while staying centered in my own power. Um, it, for some of the cards, there's also a connection to chakras, like for example, the one we saw before, the uh, Azulite, I think. Uh, peach Moonstone connects you to your second chakra, which governs gut feelings and emotions. Hidden Night, Hidden Talents. Love this one as well. It's a blend of green for the heart chakra and yellow, ruling the solar plexus for personal power. I have the confidence to share my talent with the world and let it touch others. The readings that I've done uh, with this deck I've always been spot on. Pink tourmaline, I love this one as well, emotional healing. Starburst aragonite, creative collaboration. I always attract the perfect people to collaborate with to make my creative project a success. Stromatolite, ancestral gifts. Stromatolite is a form of fossil connecting you to ancient times. Green tourmaline, uh, tourmaline, physical healing. 
Ocean Jasper, we are one. We are one. Ocean Jasper comes in a variety of colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes, not unlike the human population. Then we have the Apophyllite light worker. Light workers born between the 40s and the 70s chose to incarnate during the dawning of the Aquarian Age to raise the vibration of the planet. As a light worker, I stay anchored in my light as I help awaken the masses. Then we have Sapphire piercing through illusion. See the truth of a situation. Do more theorite, metaphysical knowledge. I'm able to comprehend metaphysical information applied to my life. Clear calcite for clear cognizance. Shungite, detoxify your body. This is a very important one. It's actually very good to detoxify the body of harmful substances. A lot of people uh, carry one of these um, on their cell phones or on their nightstands, especially if they keep their cell phone uh, charging overnight, very close to their heads, very close to their beds. Highly recommend it. Charoite, spiritual path. Um, affirmation, I use my spiritual gifts to be a serv of service to the world. Beautiful color. Chastolite, I don't even know if that's pronounced that way, protective grid. This is an interesting one. Chastolite or chastolite comes from the Greek word chastos. I know that for sure, the pronunciation is chastos in Greek, in Greek for cross. You see the cross in the middle. Because of the distinctive cross in the center of the stone. Since ancient times, the cross has been used to ward off evil, making chastolite or chastolite a good crystal for protection. Used as an amulet or carried in your pocket, it provides a barrier of safety and security. Placed on your altar, it promotes a protective grid around the household. Oh, I forgot about the multiple uses of this deck, of course. You can use it as an um, altar card for the day, for the week, for the month, according to you know the rotation of the cards or whatever um, object, a metaphysical object you keep on your altar. I call forth a protective grid to surround my home and family, blessing everyone with love and light. Larima, sing your song, also called the dolphin stone. You can tell why it's a beautiful stone. Corresponds to the throat chakra. Dolphins are playful and lighthearted, and Larimar encourages you to be the same. Agatized coral for community. Corals grow in colonies in the sea, interconnected and intertwined. Peridot, generosity. I like this one. I tend to like green uh, crystals. Orthoceras fossil, rec record keeper. Orthoceras fossil contained the skeletal remains of the mollusk that lived more than 400 million years ago. It can be viewed as a record keeper and used to uh, gain greater awareness of times gone by. If you would like to dig deep into your Akashi records and learn about your soul origin, Orthoceras fossil can be of assistance. Physically, it helps align the spine and skeletal structure. Emotionally, it provides a sense of support and inner strength. Um, now, for entertainment purposes only, um, any reference to uh, health conditions, health diagnosis, health therapies, you are the judge uh, whenever um, you come across decks that somehow make a connection with that area of your life. So, use your own judgment. Uh, Azetsulite, crystal children. Crystal children born between the 90s and 2000 have an inna innate crystalline, crystalline sorry, frequency and high vibration. As a crystal child, I'm here to uplift and inspire others. Then we have the Erkimer diamond, raise your vibration. Discovered in Erkimer, New York, Erkimer diamonds are tiny double terminated crystals. Even though they're small, they pack a wallop of energy. Manifestations of pure, solidified light, Erkimer diamonds emanate a high, harmonious vibration. 
They can purify your energy field, attune you to a higher frequency, and help you access the diamond light within. Affirmation, by monitoring my thoughts, words, and actions, I can rise my vibrational frequency. Then we have the champagne topaz. Count your blessings. About thankfulness. Mm. I like that one. Ametrine enlightenment. Ametrine is a fusion of amethyst and citrine. Amethyst promotes spirituality and the sunny color of citrine invokes joy. Amber, happiness, affirmation. I choose to do things that will uplift me and bring me happiness. Pink, aventurine. I've never seen one. It's very nice crystals. Romance. Mm -hmm. During the dating process, we are often so preoccupied with the other person being the one that we miss out on the best part the romance and getting to know one another. If you examine pink aventurine, you will see luminescent sparkles encouraging you to let your love sparkle and allow it to shine. It reminds you that love is an adventure to be embraced fully. Have fun with it and enjoy the romance. I enjoy the dating process, the romance and getting to know one another. So as you can see, so many different topics. They could be, uh, these cards can be very useful when you do love and relationship readings. If you do prosperity, wealth and abundance reading. If you do uh, spiritual energy readings. Blue kyanite, higher guidance. Blue topaz, clear communication. Dragon's egg, step into your power. I can create my reality by stepping into my power. Yellow Jasper, be in the present moment. Aquamarine, go with the flow. Red Aventurine, time to take action. I'm ready to take action toward my desire. Feel free to pause the video whenever you see a, a crystal that really strikes your attention um, to read the, um, the text. Tectite, derived from a meteor's impact with the Earth's surface, giving it an association with extraterrestrial influence. Black color keeps you grounded on the Earth plane, and the glossy sheen deflects negativity from the dense vibration, vibration of this planet. So this is one of those um, protective ones, like a black onyx uh, or black jet. Star seed is the keyword. Aqua aura crystal, clear audience. I can hear messages from the astral realm. Blue aragonite, calmness. I can remain calm, cool, and collected no matter what is happening around me. Lemurian seed crystal, ascended masters. Morganite, soulmate, another love and relationship related crystal. I love and value myself and I attract a soulmate who loves and values me. We, are in, we have a mutually loving relationship. Then we have turquoise, one of my favorite, heaven on earth. I live a blessed life as I create heaven on earth. Historical turquoise was considered a sacred crystal by Native Americans, and only medicine men and warrior chiefs were allowed to wear it. The turquoise blue color represented Father Sky, and the black area symbolized Mother Earth. Uniting heaven and earth, turquoise was thought to bring blessings from the heavens. It adorned masks, weapons, amulets, and jewelry for good luck, power, protection, uh, healing, and immortality. So uh, a good amount of information packed in a small paragraph. So this crystal really, no, oh, I love bumblebee jasper for productivity. Um, it can really uh, wear different hats. It can be useful in different kind of, uh, kinds of readings. Pyrite, financial flow. Pink calcite, compassion and mercy. And there's a lot of them. It's 70 cards. Kambaba stone, natural healing. So for all those who complain about how uh, publishers are including less and less cards in their Oracle decks, well, this is, uh, this is big. This is a great, great deck, a variety of, uh, of cards. Green calcite, uh, Peace Within. I saw this and I immediately went to my um, spiritual store and I got a piece of this one because I really liked it. Getting caught up in the polarity of right and wrong, good and bad, will keep you stuck in the third dimensional matrix. Green calcite helps you remain centered and find the peace within. 
The soft green color promotes balance and harmony to the heart chakra and the property of calcite clears negative energy. Green calcite helps you release judgment, stay calm and abide in light and love. Ruby Passion. When I started using this deck for my own personal readings and other people, uh, re people's readings, this card kept um, popping out of the deck. By the way, great for uh, shuffling if you are looking for jumpers because, because of the card stock. Blue Onyx, Clairvoyance. Shiva Linga, Masculine and Feminine. Celestite, Celestial Blessing. New Might, Shaman's Journey. Honey Calcite, Sweetness. This is for me the student's stone, helps you um, uh, stay focused. Uh, and focus on your studies. There's a rose, magic touch. Alkanite, sensitivity. It resembles snow. I use my sensitivity to give me guidance on the energy around me. I know that I'm safe and that all is well. Sujulite, spiritual protection. Peacock ore, beauty. Jet, shield of protection. Jet, one of the lightest crystals in weight, is actually fossilized wood. Native Americans carried it to guard against scorpions and snake bites. Wearing jet while astral traveling will keep you grounded and shield you from dark forces. Using it in mediumship work will, in mediumship work will prevent lower ent entities from interfering. Lemon quartz, optimism. I like this one too. Rainforest Jasper, Planetary Healing, Rainbow Emmatite, Rainbow Children, Fire Agate, Twin Flame, Fushite, Fairy Magic. Fushite is sometimes called Fairy Crystal. When rubbed, this stone leaves sparkling green glitter, the fairy dust, behind. To help with your garden or indoor plants, hold Fushite and connect to the fairy kingdom and natural elements. Black Onyx, Self-Discipline, and Apache Tears, Releasing Sorrow. According to legend, Apache Indian warriors were forced off a cliff to their death by the enemy. When the Apache women found them, they cried such heavy tears of sorrow that it was believed to have solidified the rocks below into Apache Tears. A form of obsidian, this gemstone helps release sorrow, grief, and regret to bring transformation. It cleanses and heals old wounds carried from the past. I no longer need to dwell on the past. I can find gifts from the experience and let go of the rest. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm going to pull a card because I love to um, include always a general reading for the community in my reviews and walkthroughs. So, message for somebody out there who needs to hear it today. What energy you need to embrace for your highest good and the highest good of, good of all. Ooh, self-love, red calcite. This is a good one. Always good for everybody. Calcite helps clear stagnant energies and the color red is a reminder that you are the source of love. Red calcite helps you to tap into your own wellspring when feeling the need for approval or acceptance for, uh, from others. Instead, it awakens you to your divinity so you no longer have to seek outside validation. Red calcite helps you love all aspects of yourself, including your shadow side, because it has made you into the unique, multifaceted person that you are. The affirmation, I love and accept all aspects of myself unconditionally unconditional self-love very good so um how to work with this deck how to uh, work with other decks what decks to combine it with um i used it with uh, some of my um both more modern and art whimsical decks but what i would recommend if the uh, let's say the aesthetic factor is your thing uh, works wonderfully for me when it comes to uh, modern um, 
modern decks, um, photographic decks, uh, collage art style. This is, for example, the Muse Tarot by Chris N, a mass market deck published by a house. And I think it, it, it works really, really well with that kind of, uh, with that kind of deck, with that kind of uh, uh, energy. We're talking about creativity, inspiration, uh, muses. Start something new with justice and nine of emotions. I like to see how sometimes there's a synchronicity, not only in the messages, but also in the color, the shapes. And this is a great deck because it features a lot of geometrical shapes, a lot of symmetries, uh, a lot of uh, uh, real photographs manipulated. Um, so perfect for me. Follow your heart with the seven of inspiration, the seven of wands and the sun. And uh, Desert Rose, Magic Touch with the Lovers and the Two of Materials. So this is one of the decks it might work really well with. Uh, another one, um, for example, could be another collage art style kind of deck. This is the Stars, uh, Star Child Tarot. Uh, crystals are featured in, uh, in this deck. And I feel like the vibrational energy is very, very similar. This is the original Star Child. And we started with the King of Crystal. Yeah, the crystal is um, the pentacle suit in, uh, in this deck. So we have Sweetness, Honey Calcite with perspective in the King of Pentacles, the King of Crystals. Then um, the Numite Shaman's Journey with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Interesting, if you read the affirmation, I release all trauma from, pa from the past. This is the trauma by reclaiming my divine light. I'm restored, I'm whole. Productivity, the Bumblebee Jasper with the Two of Cups and the King of Wands. I enjoy the times when I'm busy, productive and active, the King of Wands, but I also remember to balance, um, balance it with relaxation, Two of Cups, showing some self-love. Creative Collaboration, the Starburst Aragonite with the Knight of Crystals and the Six of Wands. Very nice. And emotional healing between the wheel of fortune and the strength. I know that I'm deserving of love and I'm open to attracting it now. So this was the combination with the uh, star child tarot. I think that this uh, crystal uh, deck of affirmation can be used also uh, with the, let's see, with, what, with the, uh, a botanical deck. In particular, I thought of the Herb Crafters Tarot, mass market deck, published by a ha uh, by US Games. These are paintings, but they're done so well <laughs> that they look like pictures. They're so realistic, and I think that uh, plants, flowers, herbs, and crystals work really well together. I actually keep some of my crystals in my potted plants to keep them healthy, keep them on my window seal. Hidden night, hidden talents between the uh, emperor and the wheel of fortune. I have the confidence to share my talent with the world and let it touch others. I love to see always these uh, nice synchronicity in the colors. This is the lazulite indigo children between the seven of cups, the seven of water and the chariot. I use my warrior light to destroy outdated structures and give way to the new. Garnet deep love between the curandera of fire and the curandera of air. I think the curandera here is the uh, king or the queen, queen of wands or king of wands and the king of, uh, in queen of air, swords. 
Epidote between the six of air and the world. Karma clearing. Very nice. Stromatolite, ancestral gifts between the five of earth and the nine of water. And ruby passion between the curandera of earth and the madre. madre. So this is the queen. The madre is the queen. The curandera is the, uh, the king. So the queen of fire between the queen of fire and the king of uh, pentacles. And then green calcite between the high priestess and the ace of air. So this was the, I really love it. I really love like, the way they look together. This was the combination with the Herb Crafters Tarot, a mass market deck. And then in combination maybe with another oracle, uh, you can use these affirmation cards, uh, oracle cards, in combination with oracle cards. And the ones I was thinking about are the... Um, Law of Positivism Healing Oracle by Shireen Oberg. So any deck that is more um, kind of new agey, uh, collage, art style, very ethereal, uh, very uh, spiritual in energy. This is a mass market, I think he has deck. This is based on the uh, five pillar uh, physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing. It's another favorite of mine. So we have, uh, I liberate myself from emotions that don't serve me with peace within the green calcite and the divine is always supporting and guiding me. Then we have the Kambaba stone, a natural healing. Between my thoughts are empowering and loving. And life is a dream within a dream. I choose a natural approach when it comes to health and healing. Then we have the pink calcite, compassion and mercy. Between I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors. And I know when my body needs to rest. And one more. Peach moonstone. Clairsentience between I take the path for love and devotion and my body is a manifestation of my energetic state. I can sense the energy of others while staying centered in my own power. All right, so this was the combination with the uh, law of positivism, Oracle deck. Very ethereal, very gentle. Okay, so this was a uh, walkthrough, review, and pairings of uh, the Crystal Blessing Cards by Valencia Chen, published by uh, US Games. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Do you have it? Do you work with crystals at all? Do you work with a crystal um, themed oracle deck or tarot deck? Meet me in the comment section. And until I see you next time, many, many blessings.